I'm, I'm an old school type guy and I just believe that you're not going to get any NCC you get until you complete that and that's when you earn it and I just think once you earn it you have a stronger appreciation for it and, and it's old school but I don't believe in you getting on campus from day one and me just flooding you with shorts and shoes and socks and dry fits etc 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 and you haven't earned it so that's pretty much our motto like is it's earned not given and they don't receive any gear until they complete that process we named the eagle storm a lot of running a lot of mental anguish and they pretty much have to sort things out themselves like i don't coach them they get four timeouts just like a game situation they can use them however they want to but the primary focus is for them to get to know each other number one know who's committed who's dedicated who they can count on who they can trust, et cetera, et cetera. And we kind of use it as a team building experiment and a conditioning experiment, but also allowing us to become mentally tough. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist. See my dreams unfold, nightmares come true. It was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do. If you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye view. Got shorty, she try and bless me like I said I chew. Like a sneeze, please for them trick or squeeze. I'm getting cream. Never let them Ooh. get in between of what we started. Look, look, but I'm Step up here for NCC with 123 to go against the Aggies. Here's Pooby, driving right in lane, puts up the runner, it's Ooh. good! Big time play right there by Emmanuel Chapman doing what he needed to do. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh, uh. I used to pray for times like this, to rhyme like this, so I had to grind like that, to shine like this, in a matter of time I spent on some locked up in the back of the paddy wagon, cuffs locked on wrist, see my dreams unfold, nightmares come true, it was time to marry the game, and I said, yeah, I do, if you want it, you gotta see it with a clear eye view, got shorty, she try and bless me like I said, I chew, like a sneeze, please for them trick or squeeze, I'm getting cream. I just need the toughest five. The toughest five are the ones that play. We had no idea what was coming our way. When we got that schedule, everybody, what's Eagle Storm? What is Eagle Storm? And no one had an exact answer, but it definitely made us a better team that day. Do your job. Every man do his job. And now take that wall, those games, those wins, that take care of itself. I learned that I could actually push through. Um, when I felt like I couldn't run anymore, um, my teammates, you know, they would have had to run if we would have missed. So I learned a little bit more about myself because of my teammates. You know, uh, they, they fought through for me, so I fought through for them. Semifinals. You can't relax and you can't take any game for granted. And when, while we were running sprints, some people took certain sprints for granted and coach caught that. We can't coast at all. We got to bring it every game, every sprint. Those 22s were just like a game. You got to run them hard. You got to give it your all, every one. One thing we, was, uh, we were all yelling out there is to focus on one at a time. It's just like a game, it's just like a season. We got to focus at one at a time. Separate yourself on the chip. You learn a lot about a person in general whenever adversity hits. You know, everybody is great when everything is good. That's not life. You see what I'm saying? Life is, I always say, is mostly about how you respond to adversity. So even through those sprints, even through that eagle storm, they're yelling at each other, um, which, is, which is good. It's typical. I think it's healthy, but eventually they have to find a way to communicate to one another because they have to assess each other's what we call love language, you know, and know who you can speak to um, in certain tones and who you cannot. So it's all a learning process uh, through Eagle Storm that we all discover.
That's right, we advance. We advance. Times like that, it's, it's so easy to give up when you're tired or when mentally you ain't ready, physically you just feel like you spent. But, you know, we banded together, we kept talking to each other and bonding and uh, we got through it. It's a quote we have on the wall, adversity introduces a man to himself and that was definitely adversity for some people. Everybody can learn who they really are, how, how far you can push yourself, your limit. T to be successful, we all need to be positive and we all need to stay together when adversity hits and, and when we're tired. This running is always revealing, to say the least. All right? And for me as a coach, I don't work out any issues that you guys may have in here. Why is that? Because when we're going to play in front of 10,000, sometimes a team gonna go on a run. And we ain't got no time mouse left. So you're gonna have to work things out amongst yourselves. You're gonna have to stay together. And what does this run do? It tries best to divide you. Am I correct? Yes, right? Because when you're tired, and that other man next to you haven't made it, it's tough to focus and determine whether or not you should be about yourself or that team at that particular moment. But at that moment, you got to be about both. You got to be about both. And the leadership comes when, I tell you all the time, what's the first rule of leadership? Take care of what? Yo. Good job. Talk about, baby. Total wild on three. One, two, three. Total wild.